Tengo que poner los sunglasses. Future so bright, baby. I gotta wear shades. No, hombre, que tenemos chingos de luces aquí en el estudio. Cuando prendemos las luces del estudio, ladies and gentlemen, la ciudad de McAllen se hace dim un poco. Just a little okay. bit. Deja que caiga el bill de la luz, papá. Ándale. Ah, Cállate la boca, shut up. Asústame one time. Hoy nomás las polquitas alegres número tres. Grupo Romance, papá. Welcome to Hashtag PBT Live, Wednesday Night Live, orale. Brought to you by Dr. T's Primary Care for Men and Women. You feel sluggish, tired, gain weight. Mira, no entras al Dr. T's así nomás y firmas ahí, te chequean la presión y le dices al doctor como lo quieres y de ahí te hace weight. Eh? Turn fat in your energy full of antioxidants, reduce appetite, build muscle. Hombre, qué bárbaro. Amino Blend, Boost Pre-Workout Pump. Cállate la boca, shut up. Tri-Immune Boost. Hormone Replacement Therapy Testosterone. Cállate la boca, shut up. Y si necesitas algo para darle una buena revolcada a la baby doll, papá. Oh, boy. Mira cómo sales de ahí, ¿ra? Salgo oh, bien, bien macizo. <laughs> Salgo de... Oh, yeah. Me habla la baby doll. Where are you? Acabo de salir Dr. T's. Okay, let me barricade the door of the house. Okay, <laughs> Así hace como vas a llegar, ¿ra? Y de ahí el Trimix. Cállate la boca. Oh, Trimix, ladies and gentlemen, guys. Si no le has dado una buena revolcada a la baby doll porque, pues, you know, tienes la uh, confidence un poquito low y la chica tiene miedo que no vas a terminar el trabajo, carnal. Tú nomás pídele el Trimix. Cállate la boca. El Trimix es algo, olvídate. Pero tiene side effects. Los tri el Trimix tiene side effects. Side effects. Sí. Dispiertas en la mañana con jiquis. Oh, my God. Cállate la boca. That's so terrible. <laughs> Y de ahí recién tortillas recién hechas y de qué va. Un almuerzo bien padre. El almuerzo viene con chorizo de HH, papá. Asustame. Great taste. The great taste you grew up with, not just for breakfast. The aroma it gives, forget about it. Era nomás chorizo con papa, chorizo con huevo. Unos frijolitos, un chilito, unas tortitas recién hechas y te avientas unos taquitos ahí en la mañana y. Get you going, man. ¿Verdad? So, un saludito para la familia Hinojosa. Este, of course, uh, Libo, Libo Hinojosa, ¿verdad? Que, pues, uh, he brought back the H&H. &H. ¿Ustedes se recuerdan de H&H? &H? Yes, we do. Remember, are, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, tenemos a Romance aquí con nosotros. Quédate la boca, shut up. Miro, Let me get everyone on camera. A ver, mi, a Miro Valdés, el guitarrista. Y no, también, no. Te, a ver, tenemos todas las cámaras listas. Yeah. Míralos. Ahí están. Right. Mira. Miro Valdez. And then uh, we've got Oscar Solís. Saludos a todos, Oscar. Órale. Y tenemos a Mario Monte, la voz. La voz de romance. You know, guys, I, I've, I've had a lot of shows. We've been doing this four years, have we? Yes, four. Mm -hmm. And I've never been more excited for a show than tonight, yeah, man. For really, sure. Bro. He's no, so Go on. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some really great stories to talk about tonight. Some great music. And uh, before that, we want to thank Myra Flores, who's running for Congress. She's also sponsoring our show tonight. And we've got a little word from her for you. Let's check it out. My father taught me in America, if you work hard, anything is possible. I was born in Burgos, Tamaulipas, Mexico. But at six, we immigrated to the RGV. We grew up modest, working in the cotton fields. Honest pay for honest work. But Washington liberals are killing the American dream attacking oil and gas jobs and causing prices to skyrocket. I'm Myra Flores, and I approve this message because I will protect Texas workers and their wallets. We had a good time with Myra at the Tigres del Norte concert this past weekend. It was so much fun. Shout out to her and her husband. Oye, los Tigres del Norte, those guys, guys, they, they've been around for a long time. Yeah. Son una institución, esos guys. They are. Y el programa que tuvieron en vivo... They had, uh, they sang with mariachi, did some, they did some Vicente Fernandez songs. Mm -hmm. And they also uh, brought out uh, folklorico dancers. And I mean, it was an amazing three hours. They started at 10 o'clock. They were still playing. What mm -hmm. was that? That was at South Padre Island mm -hmm. at the convention center. 
So, I mean, it was fantastic. And uh, I would love to have an interview with those guys one day. I don't know how that, that would be possible or not. Pero nunca sabes de repente, ¿verdad? Yeah. Right. You, know, never, you can never say never in this internet world now. You know what I mean? So, talking about internet world and interviews, I've got something very, very special that we have started. Okay? If you see right under the video there, you'll see a join button on YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube, right, of course, mm -hmm. there's a join button. Okay? Okay. So the join button, it's uh, going to be uh, for members only. You want to become a member, it'll help us tremendously. But not only will you just become a member, you'll be able to access some in-depth one-on-one interviews that I have started to record. And uh, we're going to have a lot of other perks as well. We're going to be giving away some cool swag, T-shirts, koozies uh, twice a month, little package for our members. And then we're going to be wherever we're at backstage we're live somewhere we go on a trip somewhere we're going to be adding stuff on our members only uh part of this youtube channel i interviewed i've already got a couple of interviews in in the box but the last interview i just did was uh mario marichalar el que cantaba con este, ramon, ayala. ramon ayala and man out of all my interviews my 37 years that has to be in the top four or five man because his story is pretty amazing, especially the part when they were at playing for the cartel in Mexico and they got put in jail. It got it was a big firefight. I got every detail of what happened up to oh, what they incredible. were being fed in the cell. And we've got a little clip here so you can check out what kind of um, quality these interviews are. And so you can become a member today, all right? Check it out. All right, bienvenido, Mario. Gracias, compadre. Por Thank primera so vez te tengo aquí en el programa, bro. Ya tenía ganas de venir para acá contigo. Yeah, no, man. Y cuando se acabó la boda, el, el dueño de la boda, el papá de la, de la, la muchacha, me dijo, Mario, quédense a dormir aquí. Digo, Mañana los quiero llevar a las carreras de caballos de Serrano Cano, al Rancho del Tejano. Okay. And, and, and my brother no quería. Dice, no, vámonos para casa, vamos. Ahí son, no, le vamos a quedar, le vamos al rancho de Don Salvando, cerca, something good, my camarada, le dijo. Entonces nos quedamos ahí, el otro día fuimos al rancho. We were, uh, y nos subieron a tocar, like, four or five songs, y yo miré a Salvando Cano de aquel lado de la pista de los caballos, sentado allá, with it, toda la gente de él, ¿no? We started singing un corrido, y yo miré que se levantó, y he, he came walking across all year. Entonces ya tocamos las four or six songs, nos bajamos, y luego se vino conmigo, se presentó conmigo, y yo no sabía quién era, se presentó conmigo. Y, y me preguntó quién era y todo, le dije de, de dónde era, de Ramones y todo eso. Y dijo, estamos aquí para servirle. Me dijo, para acá a toda, como que le gustó, ¿verdad? Right? Mm -hmm. Y así pasaron cositas like that. Y cuando me habló mi compadre Ramón, que fue para el rancho, que he was there, they had two or three other guys en, 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 uh, que les habían hablado, ¿verdad? Right? Mm -hmm. A guy from San Luis, uno de Monterrey, no me acuerdo de dónde era el otro, en Servando Cano, told mi compadre Ramón, yo quiero el de Mission, which was me. So he's talking about when he auditioned. And Servando Cano was basically the guy that told Ramon, that's the guy that you need to hire. You know, and it was Mario Marichalar. Also, what they were talking about, guys, was uh, digital royalties. And they're having a big old issue with that. Uh, you were old school. We're a track. As a matter of fact, thank you, Romance, for bringing me. Miro, me lo trajo. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. I got an a track of romance wow. an original a track man Miro, this oh is this goodness. is the greatest thing dude i mean that that's amazing so you know we're from old school you know this digital age is something that's totally different um and apparently the digital royalties go to every single member that's on in the recording and they have to split it up in some way or another or something like that but if you see that interview, ladies and gentlemen, you will, your mind will be blown. And uh, you have to become a member, $9.99 a month. And I've got already like three or four interviews in the tank. And I've got plenty of other interviews that I've got booked. Tomorrow we're doing two in one day. But we're going to be uploading one a week. And plus, we're going to put other stuff as well. So become a member today. Join us. Be part of the hashtag PVT family, papa. Members only exclusive. Asustame one time. Orale. So, uh, let's see, a ver, a ver, esta la que quiero ir, bro. Oh. Man, this song has stood the test of time. Dime si soy un tonto. 
Grupo Romance. What year was this, Mario? This was 1981. 1981. Mira. Dime si soy un tonto. El compás. La guitarra. The voice. The bass con Juan. Compás con Andy. Y Oscar doing all the rest, man. What an amazing... You guys were a, a super group back then, man. I mean... First of all, Mario, tú vienes de una familia de música, ¿verdad? Yes, that's right. Este, Donna, Texas. Yes, sir. ¿Quién, quién es tu jefito, Dad? Mi papá fue Mario Montes de los Doneños Mario Ramiro. Hey. Uh, he, he's originally from uh, General de <coughs> Nuevo León. Sí. Del Rancho del Ojo de Agua. Órale. Viene siendo abuelo de Bobby Pulido. Yeah. Suero de Roberto Pulido. Sí. ¿Y tú eres el tío? Sí. ¿De Bobby? Exactly. Yeah. How, yo, yo Jimmy. Yeah, no, mommy. Jimmy, the drummer. He's yeah. drumming with you guys right. now. How in the world did Roberto meet your sister? That's what I've never asked Roberto that. Uh, if I remember correctly, me, me parece que Roberto andaba tocando con los Laytons and... Uh, Orale, con Benny, think, que en sí, paz descanse. Sí, and uh, I think my mom had taken my sister and a bunch of other friends to it. It was either a wedding, quinceañera, and then Roberto was playing there. I, I, and that's where I think he met her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah. And so you've been in this music. Uh, it's in your DNA. Yeah. It's in your DNA. Y, y Roberto, cuando, yo, cuando Roberto andaba con los casinos, yo andaba tocando con, con Henry and the Glares. And they're in Donna. Oh, the Donna boy, también. Man, what year was that, man? This was like... 75? 70, 71, somewhere in there. Yeah. Porque cuando Roberto empezó los clásicos, it was 73. Mm -hmm. And he, that's when he asked me to come in and, yeah, and join the, him. Yeah. And you were playing sax with him. I was him. playing sax. Hey. Uh, yeah. Wow. And uh, Oscar, what about you, man? I, I've, I've never really sat down and talked to you yeah. about your where you're originally from or, or the music, is uh, how it's in your blood and stuff like that. Because you're a very talented musician, too. You. you know, like right here. Who would think of using that sound right there? And it sounds perfect, you know? Uh, so and then you also harmonica. You put harmonica in the songs. Yes, I did. Had you done that before with another band? Because you were with Laura Canales, verdad? Uh, I, I put some uh, harmonica with Los Únicos. Orale. Yes. Uh, On uh, Villarreal, Mel Villarreal, Villarreal, Los Únicos. So you had already kind of like, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Experimented with the harmonica in the Tejano music, then. <laughs> yes. Orale. Y los keyboards and all that. What year was that? It was uh, 1970. 1970? Uh, and then uh, wow. with Laura, 1975. That's incredible, man. What a, man, that's a long time, man. 70, that's 54 years ago. Miro, y tú, Miro, tú eres de Faro, de San Juan, ¿de dónde eres tú? De Faro? Yes, sir. De Farolitos. Oscar, are you from Far too? No, yo soy, I was born in Alice, Texas. Alice, Texas. Raised in Kingsville, Texas. Orale. Y tu jefito de estaba en la música. Pues King, Kingsville's rich with music. I mean, yeah. you had those, uh, uh, que la, este, uh, Paulino Bernal. Cha -cha. Cha -cha, all those guys. Y, y Pio Trevino también. Yes, sir. So, uh, you were part of that area then. The Coastal Band. Coastal Band. Yeah, yeah. Bobby Naranjo, Los Serratas también, Rob Stown, ¿verdad? They're all, it's a very rich uh, music history in that area. Y miro tú de far, este, estás en la música desde que estás bien chaval o qué? Yeah, I started uh, when I was about 11. Mm -hmm. Tocando en las cantinas con un primo mío mayor que yo. Órale. Yo play the chord and I play the bajo. ¿Y qué te dio la idea de levantar el, la guitarra y todo de tan chaval? I don't know. Uh, uh, I started playing drums. Ah, sí. Sí, y, y luego bajo sexto. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden I found, it, I found I need to play the guitar. If not, if not I wasn't going to work. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, uh, I I already started off playing with my cuñado Juan in Paz de Cancer. Mm -hmm. este, but we would be playing bajo and acordeón, doing relámpago stuff, you know? Sí. Uh, so that's how I started off. Morale. And then I met these guys. You know? Sí. How did you all end up meeting? I mean, uh, Romance, ¿en qué año se juntó, bro? In uh, June of 1981. Yo andaba con Roberto, and that's when I, after about seven or eight years, I left. And, and uh, Miro y Juan y Oscar andaban con Laura. Mm -hmm. And then whatever happened there, they said, well, we're going <coughs> to branch off and we're going to make another band. Sí. And they, they called me up and or auditioned for the for the, part, for the spot. Yeah. And that's how we got together. And then they got Andy. Andy andaba con los únicos. El drummer. Med, con med, sí. Yeah. El bodybuilder. He's so a bodybuilder. They, they brought, yeah. They brought him in and then that's how it just 
I always said that it was something like magical, man. Yeah. You know. It was. It's like all the planets were aligned. Because, <laughs> you know, this was your first album, right? La yeah. Diferencia? Yeah, that's the very first one. It's rare that you release a, the first album with like three or four hits, you know, that goes hit four or five hits deep. About yeah. eight. Eight. Yeah, pues era tres suspiros, and then... Uh, jacaranda, cuatro velas, cuatro velas, and quiero, no, you don't amanecer. know me. Quiero amanecer. I love that song, bro. Y pues, like, yo amanecí muchas veces. I remember you telling me all the time that you like that song. Yeah, bro. Oi, oi. Y todos pensaban que Amy Quintanilla empezó ese jale, ¿no? Absolutely not. No, era no. Oscar Solís, ¿verdad? ¿O qué, verdad? Era Oscar. Oscar. Man, how did you, how do you come up with all these ideas for these songs, dude? I mean. Well, it's just a little bit from this guy and a little bit from that guy and put it together. It's like a puzzle. You know? Yeah. Who was uh, like, when you guys got together the very first time to record this album right here, which is an absolute collector's, uh, it's a debut album, the Grupo Romance. And uh, if you can find it in mint condition, you better buy it, you know, no matter how much it costs, because this is one of those songs, one of those albums that kind of paved the way for a lot of the bands in the 90s. And the late '80s, and uh, when you all got together, uh, who who came up with the? Because you all went to Hacienda Records. You signed with them, or what? Was it Hacienda Records? Yeah, actually, uh, it was Amistad Records that we started out our own label. Okay, and then we did like four songs, which was Enamorado de Ti, Tres Suspiros, Cuatro Velas, and uh, No, it wasn't Quiero Manes, It was something. No. And then we went with Hacienda after that. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, we went to uh, Freddy. I mean, yeah. We, we, we finished the album at Freddy, at Freddy Studios, Freddy but yeah. it was... Uh, sí. Grabaron con Freddy, pero you released it with... Uh, it was with a, Amistad. Amistad. It was record. a custom job, yeah, yeah. And it was under uh, Amistad Records. Mm -hmm. What was going on through you all's guys' minds back then in 1981 when you were putting this together? Did you all realize that you all had like a gem, like one of these albums that were... Ooh. We had no idea. <laughs> I, I had no clue. Oh, man. We were worried, man. <laughs> yeah, we, because, we had no uh, clue. Yeah, we had just broken up with uh, with uh, the, the Felicidad. Remember? Uh huh. With Laura. And Laura was back on the road again. And I she mean, was hitting like big, right? Oh yeah. And and us. Uh, well, what's going to happen to the guys in the band? You know. So we didn't know which way we were going to go. Mm -hmm. What was going to happen after that? We could have gone broke or something, you know. Yeah. But we we weren't really too joyous about it mm -hmm. uh, but we had we had something going you Orale. know we kind of gave each other uh come on no te huites, you know sí. because this thing's gonna work yeah and, uh, we, we and then did. Through, yeah. Yeah. yeah you threw it's all like, your eggs in that basket and let's yeah, go oh yeah right. Oscar? i was going to tell you when we got together mito had connections he was always on the phone and he had magazines of people selling rigs here in, in different states mm -hmm. he found a bus in, in virginia norfolk virginia yeah he found a bus over there he says hey i found this bus you know looks good and stuff so eagle so e eagle eagle and we decided to buy it we had we weren't even on the road yet no and <laughs> but you real impulsive yes yeah. <laughs> yeah. we went and picked yeah. it up <laughs> And I we, think we're gonna need this one yeah. someday. Do you need? Do you know somebody like that or what? Very, very. Yo también compré un over eagle. Este, but you, what year was that, Oscar? That was seven eighty-one. Eighty-one. Y se fueron para allá para Norfolk a levantar el bozo, que. Miro and I. Sí. Oh yeah. We went and drove it back. ¿En qué se fueron para allá? We flew. Ah, volaron. Ahora le first class, papá, sustame. Oscar, dile lo que nos dijo el guy que nos vendió el bozo. Did you guys bring the tires? Oh, no! <laughs> no tenía, no tenía llantas del bozo. Oh, shoot. <laughs> wow. So then? Well, uh, he, uh, it, it aren't rentals. Right. Well, these aren't rentals. We got to turn them back in. Uh-huh. So well, you got to bring your own. Holy shit. <laughs> that wasn't in the, you didn't read the fine print. <laughs> so what did you all do? You know, th that bus belonged to a hockey team, you know? Yeah. Uh, Newton, Newton Brothers. Yes. So le dijiste, they don't have no tires. Get the puck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Get the puck out of here. Dingo. Okay, then. So we brought it back, and, and it had 
uh, letters on the side, mm -hmm. and Miro was able to to Re get some of those letters and and rearrange them, rearrange them, <laughs> and uh, it formed to romance. Oh, wow! Uh, wow! So <laughs> when when people started seeing us on a bus, they said, "This guy just got together. They're driving a the bus already." So <laughs> the word started getting out. You know, uh -huh. it just good. It was good promotion. Y no había yeah. social wow. media back then or nada de ese jale. Oh, so. Is it a branding? You're already branding the name of the band on yeah. a bus. Yeah. That's what that does. You're driving it all the way back and everybody's seeing the name. Yeah. yeah. And then they see it everywhere and it's it's branding. It's like having a road sign on wheels. Yeah. You know? So billboards. You guys. You guys. Billboard sign. <laughs> yeah, it's a billboard. It's a traveling billboard, yeah. man. <laughs> so. You know? And so you went and you got that bus and you brought it back and then you hit the road, right? Yes. That's right. Wow. What did you all... What did you all learn from being with Laura Canales, man? I mean, that she was on fire back in the seventies, dude. It was great for me. My my experience with Felicidad mm -hmm. and, and these guys, man. Yeah. Who was the drummer back there? Was it Balde? Yes. Balde Munoz. How, how's he doing? I haven't talked. To, well, I saw him at a dance a while back, but I haven't really said. I'd like to bring him in and talk to him. Yes. I knew his brother, man, Kim Paz Descanse, when they had Bale. the charanga and. Man, it was just uh, really awesome. But Cabo, Dallas Cowboy fan all the oh, way, man. We went to some games together back in the 90s. So, Felicidad, you, you were playing all over the country? Oh, or? Yes. Wow. Uh, we would go to Idaho. Florida, Florida. Almost twice, three times a year. Yes. Uh, yeah. what, what did, why did you all decide to leave the band? Is it because you all just wanted to, you know... You all just wanted to venture on your own, or was there some issue with them or something or anything like that, or what? We just wanted to, to try something different. Mm -hmm. yeah. and But uh, Laurita, uh, we were neighbors in Kingsville. Okay. And, I, and uh, she, these people loved her so much. Man. And they would bring her gifts all, all the time, all kinds of gifts. And, uh, and I, I think she was like a sister to me. She? Yes. Very yeah, awesome. and so were you with her before, and then Miro joined, or we snowballing company? Snowballing company. That's when she she came and recorded with us. She was 19 years old. Yeah. Wow, man, that's crazy. Yeah. She was so young. Yes, yeah, an right. amazing voice. <coughs> and in a, in an era where not really many women were in Tejano, right? Oh. Who else was singing Tejano back then? A female. Uh, Elsa, Elsa, Garcia. Ah, see? Sí? Yes, she was. Oh, really? Wow. There was, and there's, I, there was some some singers in San Antonio también. Good singers. See? I got a song here. Let me see if I can find it from Laura. And she's singing with Carlos Miranda. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's, it's, it's one of the songs that takes me back. Do we have any. Shout outs on there, Bob. Um, yes, yes, yes. Um, shout out real quick to Noe Rodriguez. He's watching from Grandview, Washington. Um, we have Cesar Vela saying saludos. They're watching from, uh, they're watching in Westlaco. Emilio Garcia Jr. He is from Gilbert, Arizona. Everyone else who's on the chat zone. Thank you, guys. Oh. It's one of my favorite songs, Laura. Con Carlos Miranda. It's Carlos Miranda and Laura, but Carlos doesn't sing. It's Laura. And it. They did some duets. This album is very hard to find, también. But, uh, and you all got to play with her when she was 19. Wow. And then when you got out, out of the band, <laughs> you already had your eyes set on Mario over here from Roberto Pulido. You knew he sang and everything or what? We knew... He sang and he played sax. Uh, at that time, we weren't really, we didn't know what we were going to do. So we, it just happened, we got together, we heard him, and he said, you know what, it's going to work out. And we were able to, to start working together. ¿Qué dijo el primo cuando le dijiste Mario que ya no ibas a tocar con él? Le dijiste bye bye. bye, -bye. Yeah. ¿Qué pasó? Aren't we, aren't we blood now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's que uh, I wanted to do something on my own. Mm -hmm. He had his thing. I, I wanted to have my thing. Too. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I'm, I'm going to get a chance to do this over here. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, go off and, and join them. You really got your uh, your feet really wet with uh, Roberto, no? Oh, yeah. I, I was there for like seven or eight years with him. That's 
Well, I started with him in 1973. Yeah. When he, you know, started. Los How were those years, man? With Roberto, oh man, man, they were they were in the beginning was pretty hard, but then you know things started falling into place and pretty hard is like no the gigs weren't coming in. Or? Well, we had a lot of uh, weddings and quinceañeras here in the valley. By ese tiempo, verdad? Because in the tiempo there's a lot of bands here in the valley. So, but but uh, you know. Uh, Things started clicking, and you know, all of a sudden, ooh. when 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 did that happen? What what song was it? What album was it for Roberto? Well, it was basically the first one, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, you know all of them followed in, after that, and, and everything just exploded after that. How was it being on the road with with oh, it was, it was, uh, Oh man, it was, <laughs> it was something else for me because I, I mean, was, you guys I was only twenty one when yeah. I started with him. Uh -huh. I'm and, not going to say how old I am. And how old, and how old is he? And was he back then? He was he a little was, older than he you? Was a, he's about two and a half years older than I am. Orale. Yeah. Two and a half years old. So he was about 22, 21, something so like that. 22, 23, something like that. And he was already married with your sister? Yeah. Yeah, it's, he had already graduated from college. And See, stuff. Yeah, he was a music teacher. And he had right? started out being a music teacher, but then he, he decided he wanted to do this. And mm -hmm. le pegó a la, yeah. You know, just and he's had an amazing career, man. Oh, man. How many years, man? At least 50. 50 years, bro. And then his son, Bobby? Mm -hmm. I mean, what an amazing career he's and had And he was born well. in that same year, in, in 73, uh, when we started off. The pequeñito, pequeñito. Yeah. Esa canción pegó duro, no? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How were the 70s for you guys, man? Do you all, did you all, I mean. 20s and the 70s was great. 70s in the 20s, no man, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh Por lo bueno es que, you know, yo, yo, yo creo yo miro and, uh, and, and Mario are keeping just for men really. Well, we're, we're, we're keeping them in business, Carlos. Yeah, no, no, Asustame no, no. one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aquí me acabo de pintar la barra ahorita, carnal. Antes de llegar. <laughs> Tengo el líquido para limpiarlo y la chingada todo el pelo. Uh -huh. yeah. Y pues el pelo se me cayó todo, carnal chinga. Oscar tiene un pelo bruto, mira. Ay, no. Who had Beautiful. the best hair in romance, Andy o, o, o Mario? Andy o Mario, ¿quién tenía el pelo mejor que Miro? Tú tenías el pelo todo. <laughs> put, a, put a picture, babe. Put the picture, the, the, the second one, the second one. Mira, ese red Oh, my goodness. Ah! <laughs> El Andy tenía unas feathers bien de aquellas, vato. Let me tell you, the wings, ¿ah? ¿eh? Tenía wings. Y Mario también, chingata. Tenías un hairstyle bruto. Y Miro lo tenía. That's short hair for Miro, that's short right? Hair, that's yeah. short hair. Oh, that <laughs> long hair, man. Yeah. Wow. Man, I wish Juan was still with us here. Bro. Oh, man, tell me about him. it. We miss him. We miss him a lot. You know, it's, it's, unbe it's unbelievable, you know. It's yeah. Crazy. Yeah, man. That's why I want to get guys, you know, people that have been in this industry, you know, for a long, long time. I want to get them on my show, you know, because, man, you never know, bro, you know. What happened with Juan? He, he got sick and he, he got passed sick. away. Well, yes. you know, we, we had started to get a, a reunion tour in, in 2019 when I was still working with the county. Uh -huh. That was my last year. I retired after 20 years. See. So we got together and we said, you know, and Juan was still with us. And we said, let's try to do something, you know bring it back so we got together we started rehearsing jimmy got us some gigs he was on drums and uh we did one gig with juan like in december of 2019 and by january of 2020 we lost him mm -hmm. just like that real quick yeah and we, we could i couldn't believe it it was just like we were in shock you know mm -hmm. and then we did a few more gigs one in san antonio but we had to get somebody else to help us on the bass yeah so it was the but uh and it, and it was the, uh, I mean, he brought the, a lot to the table. Oh, you know? God, man. Oh, yeah. Ar arrangements for los arreglos? Yeah. Oh, man. He was, uh, he was sharp. You were, yeah. you were talking about arrangements. He, he was a good arranger. Yeah. People don't understand the, the, the science of arranging a song and, yeah. uh, and the mixing. And, yeah. like, for the first song, I mean, like, uh, the first album, I think it's, uh, there's a part where your guitar comes in. Oh, yeah. I think it's a, uh, is it this one? I think this one, man. Es el grito tuyo, verdad, Oscar? Antes de la mafia, antes de todo eso. Mario and uh, Oscar, Miro, Juan and Andy. 
Where, I think it's this one that has the little guitar, that little guitar. Yeah, it's that one. Later. It's this one. Is it in the middle intro? Yeah. And uh, the way they mixed it, I mean, they did a good job. It sounded great. Everything was perfect on it, man. It was. Yeah. I always give credit to Juan and Miro and, and Oscar for the great arrangement, you know, that they came up with. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. It, was just, it just clicked, you know, it was just like, oh, wow. And then the, uh, the accord, the polquitas, where you put, it's accordion, you met this sax, you know, the Roberto Pulido, you know. Yeah, I mean, it was like uh, You all blended it together, yeah. You all knew that science already. A yeah. lot of people don't don't know that uh, Juan, Juan Rodriguez was, he played those polkas. Yes. I played the bass. Oh, really? Yes. yes. So he's the one on accordion? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's hear, because uh, this was the, one of the most memorable. And then the drums are right. Andy's a very good drummer, también, bro. She was. How many albums did you guys do you, uh, together with Oscar? Because Oscar, you ended up uh, leaving the band, right? Yeah, I got uh, I got pretty sick uh, in 80, 83. 83. And uh, I wasn't able to play anymore. Uh, for, for, really? But yeah. For a whole year, you know. My thyroid went haywire. That uh, uh, picture of the album you showed, yeah. the, the white, the white you do, that was the last one he yes. did. But put that picture again, babe, because you can tell yeah, you look very pale in yeah. that. or like That was the last one. And then and thin. Yeah, mm-hmm. I lost a, a lot of weight. And then you put the, first, put the first picture, babe, the first album. Like, there's Oscar and Andy and Mario and... Miro and Juan, that that's a classic picture, bro. That's classic. You need to make some T-shirts for that, bro. Mm-hmm. I mean, the tuxedos. Yep. <laughs> we had awesome. a bunch of those, man. We had yeah. all kinds of different colors. Yeah. See, it, it was crazy. Do you man. still? Do you all still have them? No. Oh. Oh. I, I wish. Oh. <laughs> But, yeah. it, but he still has his Corvette. I, I know. Yeah. I heard. <laughs> Mario was like the first Corvette I ever saw that had a, 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 a personalized license plate. Mm-hmm. The Sierra Romance, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And you still have that Corvette, man? Yeah, it's a little, it needs a little work, but it's... What year is it? 70-something, No, right? it's an 81, the Eight, same, 81? same year we started. Da Bruto Stingray? Wow. No, wasn't Stingray? No, they, they weren't calling them Stingrays. Oh, I know. No, you should put a picture of it on social media, mm-hmm. bro. Or send me a picture. I'll put it on my social yeah. media, bro. Classic. That's a classic Corvette. Lo tienes alzadito en el garaje? No, it, it needs work. See? Si? Uh, yeah, it's it's it's. Uh, I just haven't had the time. Donde quiera andaba. You guys made some pretty damn good paper back then, right? Oh, yeah. Que tanto tan cobrando por gig oh, back in yeah. 1981, Dan? We would make some uh, concerts back then. Uh huh. Nos pagaban como five grand for 45 minutes. Five grand. Wow! Now, today it'd be thirty-five, right? It, uh, f- for five 1981, grand. that yeah. was a uh, quite a bit of five money. grand. Pues el gas estaba que forty-five cents, fifty cents a gallon. Right. <laughs> Dude, man, five grand! I remember seeing you guys. I was uh, probably a freshman in high school. Y tocaron en el Westlake Football Stadium oh, yeah. by Mary Ho. Yeah. <laughs> hey Mario, what did you do to your jacket? I took off my jacket and I threw it into the crowd, and they just hey. tore it up. It was oh, crazy. I was <laughs> like. I was in the heavy metal, right? And I put him on top con camaradas. Y uno, Robert Rivera, man, he's, we called him Red Bud, porque tenía el pelo medio red, y también pues los ventamos unos Red Buds. ¿eh? <laughs> <laughs> ¿Me entiendes? Y, vamos, right, vamos, Jaime, vamos. Órale, vamos. Y, man, no me gusta. That guy would go pick me up, and we'd go to the, he'd take me to the fields to go work and make some cash and shit. You know, that's how I learned how to work with him. And so we went. And it was the the stadium, one side of the football stadium there in West Lico, which is the old football stadium by Mary Ho. Right. It was packed, man, from end to end. And the bands were uh, set up on the track, like where they run around the field. Uh-huh. And it was you guys. It was Maz. I think it was La Mafia, too. I'm not, I don't know quite. Do you remember the lineup? I think it was, uh, Pio was there, I think. I'm a, I'm Pio sure. had those, uh, those, those yeah. pyros yeah. and yeah. shit. Yeah. But you guys, man, you guys went up there and you performed and everybody was singing along to the songs, yeah. man. What do you think? What do you remember about that 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 gig there, uh, Miro? It's all a haze, man. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it went too fast. Yeah. yeah. It was, all, because it was every day, every day, every day. Yeah, we every so, week we had three, four gigs a week. At 5,000 a gig? Well, yeah. 
15, 20 a, a week. Yeah. Man. Wow. We don't, That's rolling in. we don't want to say too much. Eh, pues ya se pasó el IRS para ese jale de 1980. Ya están todos los expenses y todo. five years ago. <laughs> yeah, man. So then I, I, never, I, I never knew that uh, you, you had gotten ill, man, and you had gotten out of the band because of that. Yeah, I had to. Uh, I was out for a whole year until I started feeling yeah how did you uh did you you stayed home and recovered how are you keeping yourself financially uh, you know just staying home you yeah know? and then once yeah. you got a little better what happened started started playing again but not not with the guys uh-huh i came back with them later see yeah. and what 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 uh, you already had somebody Chendo Chendo yeah. came in yeah. uh, when we did the fourth uh, album uh, the la misma uh-huh yeah and miro was there juan and andy and myself yeah Sometimes I wonder because, you know, I, I, Chendo's an amazing musician as well. Yes, saludo Chendo. But um, but like that first album, I mean, it, it felt like uh, you know, Romance had kind of with Oscar gone, the essence of yes, like the unit, very much. the gritos, essence of the band. Los was, gritos de Oscar, it was lo que hacía la, la, la música live yeah. and danceable, you know. Yeah. If, when when he stopped, uh, when we left, he left because of the illness. It it wasn't there, man. It wasn't. Yeah, like, I mean, I I I see it as uh, the essence of the uh, the band. I mean, you all still were playing, you still were working, yes. but the magic. I think some of the magic had 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 dissipated a little of, bit. Part of the formula. Yeah, yeah it was the formula, go. man. You, you guys were a unit together, and the chemistry you all had, and the music, uh, you know, the styles, and everything you all brought to the table put together was amazing. It don't pinch it. It was like all the ingredients to that's make right, a freaking right. amazing meal. You know what yep. I mean? And uh, <laughs> so, so what? Uh, so when Oscar got better, he, did you want to come back with Romance, or didn't it, it didn't happen, or what happened? Uh, I don't know what year was it. it Are you? you you went uh, with with Encanto, didn't you? Yes, I went with Encanto. Which was uh, Laura Canales. Laura. Orale. But uh, <coughs> when I came back, Mario wasn't. wasn't no, I, I left around eighty-seven yes. or eighty-eight something. Like that. That's when I came back, and uh, Miro and Juan were singing. Uh, they were doing the vocals. Mm -hmm. But uh, then, all, after Oscar left, a couple of years later, Miro uh, also left the band, and then see. kept came back. It just started, it ran, kind of ran its course. And yeah, it, but it, it, the band never broke up. We were never at a standstill. It used, you know, different people. Yeah. Different members. Orale. What are some good stories? Uh, give me a good story from you your romance that, you days. Yeah, that, no, I want. You don't want. That. Just change the names <laughs> to protect. So many. Change the names to protect the, the guilty. The guilty, <laughs> yes, the guilty. <laughs> I'll tell you one, one, one quick story. After the bus, mm -hmm. el, el infamous bus que compramos, este, we went to play in Uvalde, remember? Yeah. One of the first gigs, really out of town. Mm -hmm. Y nos venimos para atrás con $59, man. <laughs> $59. Y me acuerdo porque vinimos por $59, Highway uh -huh. $59. Y me acuerdo, oh, how ironic. Venimos con $59 <laughs> en la bolsa. Y venimos por $59 back home. Hoy sin dinero, broken. En un bus. Y en el bosque hemos comprado el Silver Eagle. De buenas que el diesel estaba como 10 centavos el galón. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, como que era, I mean, we, we, we struggled, man. It wasn't, sí. it wasn't that, it wasn't like, a, oh, they're playing y ya están, no. We had so you went to Valde and what happened? The turnout was low or? It was bad. And the promoter, pues, era te voy a dar. Yeah. Because we couldn't announce, it was, in, it was in the judgment because there was a lawyer when they'll break up the Felicidad, mm -hmm. we couldn't use anything related to Felicidad or Laura's name. Okay. Like, these guys used to be Laura Canales or Felicidad. Yeah, formerly of Felicidad. Yeah, nobody could use that. So uh, we just had to show up, and uh, word of mouth, whatever, put a word of mouth. See. So the DJs couldn't, couldn't say these guys say like and the radio uh, do they have Tejano radio over there do they have mm -hmm. Spanish radio were they playing romance and stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah. and the first album and so you all went and played in Ovalde it was 59 bucks papa sustame one time <laughs> you got to la casa de la regañada la esposa que que andas haciendo allá si vendiendo sin cheque que que sabe que 59 dollars <laughs> Dormes en el bus. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hey, what, what about you, Oscar? You got any any story from the Romance days, man, that uh, kind of memorable to you? Well, the only things I remember is uh, in the dances that we played in so many different cities. Is the, the the fun it was 
de ver a la gente. Les, les echaba un grito right at the beginning and you could hear the, the reaction. Yeah. It's guys and, and girls yelling to see who could yell the, the loudest mm -hmm. or the longest, you know. Sí. So those little things, those were I never, they, I have them with me. Yeah. I remember uh, we were talking earlier before the cameras went on. Uh, my mom and I went to go see you guys at the Catholic War Veterans in Mercedes Ooh. on 1015, back about 1982, 82, 83 maybe. Packed. Packed house. Uh, and, uh, you know, my mom was a big fan of y'all, still is. And and I was in the rock, and I was, you know, I, I was blown away with you guys. And then we go outside, and Oscar is uh, is at his, in it by his car. And my mom's car, would, we, it wouldn't turn on. So we didn't have a way home. So we went and we talked to Oscar, and Oscar was putting his stuff in his trunk, and we started talking, and we're fans, and this and that. And he ended up giving us a ride home, man, <laughs> back then. <laughs> Oscar Solis. I, I mean, well, never forget that. And, and freaked out because when he got here, that's the first thing he asked me. I remember, how's your mom? I remember I gave you guys a ride home, and I was like, dude, you remember that? Wow. That was 1982, 80, 83, and you guys were whew, exploding. Man, great. And I, and I I mean, I, I remember it like as if it was yesterday, and, but I never expected you out of all the people that you've run into, Oscar, in your whole career. That you would have remembered that, man. And my mom will sure appreciate that for sure. <laughs> y tú, Mario? Gosh, there's so many <laughs> stories. I, there's so many I, I can't even think of. But, man, we always... Give me the worst one. <laughs> that worst right, one. the worst one, yeah. I, I, those are the ones I already one. forgot. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's, that's, yeah. It's like the $59 one. <laughs> 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 well, don't tell us about the $60 one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, you know... What I remember most of us uh, together traveling into the most places that we never thought we'd be going to, all over the state of Texas, mm -hmm. Florida, Michigan, Ohio, you name it, we were, you know, and we loved being on the road and yeah. playing our music and, and seeing the people uh, enjoy our music. Yeah. yeah. I remember when I saw the album, I think you guys were the first al uh, first band to ever put your manager's picture on the album as well. <laughs> In the back of the album, thought Ralph Pedrosa. Even the roadies, I mean, yeah, he was like he was a he was y'all's manager. I, right. I I got to work with Ralph mm -hmm. uh, at a radio station when Raúl Hernández. Y'all remember oh, Raúl oh, Hernández? Oh, Raúl. Man, that guy, man, he was a character. Yep. Raúl Hernández, quien pasa descanse. But I was I really am appreciative that I was able to work under him because he taught me a lot, you know. And he would always tell me, "Nunca digas el español, cuñado, y que esto lo otro." And so he gave me some really good consejos and. So, Ralph was doing some DJ work there too. He worked at the radio station, and he had the band Topacio, and he asked me to to sing with him, and uh, and you know I sang with him for about three months, I guess four months. But it was a uh, was kind of crazy. Have you all talked to him lately? Or I haven't seen him in a while. I haven't. I haven't. You no, know? I haven't either. No, you got a DJ going. Oh, Orale. I did. I did an album with him. See si? Topacio. Ah, you did? Yeah. Was it, uh, which album was it? Uh, La Distancia? Was it that yeah, one? That's the one you're on, man? Con uh, Juan Garza? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Red Cordova. Yeah. That was another good album, and Oscar's on it. Wow. So, if you guys, sometimes I wonder, like, si se fueran quedado juntos, the first album, the lineup, through the 90s, man, when it was, like, huge. I honestly think you guys would have been like up there with like Maz and La Mafia, Emilio, and all those, man. Because, I mean, what, what do you think, man? Possibly, yeah. You know, sure. See? Y ahora que estás haciendo, y'all are, are playing again together? Or? Well, uh, here's the thing. When After what happened with our, our brother Juan, after mm -hmm. he passed away, and then then through COVID. And that just really ruined everything. Yeah. So se para que toda la onda. So yeah, because you had a band, Grupo Sierra. No, yeah, right? well, I was. We were Conchando and Rocky, his son. See, si, yeah. We were, we were back in the Las Leyendas. Okay. That was that was like in like. That's 2006, right. 2006, it was Carlos Guzman, yeah. Freddie Sunny. Martinez, Sunny, and um, and was there another one? Right that one. Agustin. Agustin, Agustin and, and you, we even got to back up Laura. See. Si? For a while, yeah. Yeah, and so you you were. You had Sierra first, didn't you? Or well, no. It was uh, when I when I left Romance. It was Obsession. Remember? 
I remember that, and then, man. Then you know, after that, it was uh, we, me and Jimmy, got together with Sierra, and then that's when we got together to to back up the, le the leyendas. What was a single from Grupo Obsesión, man? Oh, gee whiz! <laughs> I, I got I, man. It's I gonna take remember. me back because I I haven't. Uh, uh, but going back to what we're saying, uh, I, all this happened, and then, and then in in uh, last year, Jimmy was uh, in touch with Rocky, who's had connections to Vegas. Mm -hmm. We went to do the Vegas show last last year in July. We got together and and we started rehearsing, and then. We, we went up there and did the show. Yeah, I heard that y'all went up to uh, Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. I saw a clip mm -hmm. on social media, yeah. and you guys were like, as soon as you hit the first notes of the song, so all of you were there doing it right. then. Yeah. And how was that experience? Oh, wow, that was awesome. That's awesome. Great. It was, See? Oh, yeah. yeah. Que, que dije, don't wanna, so are, are you guys booking right now to play and stuff? Or No, not Jimmy's the one who's in charge of that, but not, we just did that one. It just came out of the blue. But I think, I mean, there's, there's some gigs out there for you guys. I mean, are are you are you all capable of playing, uh, Oscar? Can you play and all that? Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to start playing a tuba. <laughs> 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 oh man, okay. really? There's there's uh, there's not very much work for Tejano, man. Honestly, I I don't know, man. I mean, there's Tejano festivals everywhere, dude. Oh, yeah. Milwaukee is like it's fifty thousand people. It's uh -oh. uh, there's a lot of Tejano, but it's all coming from San Antonio, you know. I man, I don't know. I think there's people listening right now and watching the show that uh, would probably pay to go see you guys. Oh, yeah. Do we have anybody on the chat there, babe? Anybody making mm -hmm. some comments on this awesome show tonight? Yeah, we do. Hold on, give me one second. I just refreshed it and it just went blank. So Pero. Carmen, yeah, Carmen Benavides, she's here. Sal in the house. Uh, Gilbert Day is Ramirez Maldonado Jr. Jackie Puente, um, Bolo Joel. Um, I'm trying to look for the ones because I think some of y'all's family members are on the chat. I, it's just going really, really fast. I think I missed it. 151 Marquez, Aurelio Perez, DJ Chomp Company, Sergio Gonzalez. Everyone is watching from everywhere. Um, oh. And they're all just saying, like, this takes me back. Yeah. Yeah. We miss you. So which was the bigger hit of all these songs on this album, man? La Diferencia. La Diferencia. Let me get that one on, man. Hell yeah. Uh, here. yeah. This is like a mix. That's the name of the album. Right. right here, ladies and gentlemen. So, no tan tocando ahorita. Y'all aren't playing at all. No, sir. Pero si mandan un depósito de volada, se ponen a practice, okay? Vámonos, recio. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought, Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, hey. The harmonica. Yeah. La voz, tu ya, bro. You have a very unique voice. There ain't nobody sounds like you. ¿Verdad? And then the way um, Oscar goes from different keyboards to harmonica to accordion to... How do you remember all that stuff? The reason I do that is because I I didn't want the people to get bored with our music. I, I wanted to give them different sound, not mm -hmm. just an organ all night long and stuff. Yeah. Or accordion. So that, that's the reason I did the harmonica, a little bit of strings. Uh -huh. uh, is that organs. monotonous? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It, it's not monotonous, uh -huh. man. I think that's the secret to the songs. <laughs> Those little chime bells. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how they do it on the keyboards to find all those porque chingue botones. What were you playing back then, Oscar? Oh man, I, I had uh, I had like six keyboards. Oh, no tenía nada. Parecías Johnny, car. I did. Show. <laughs> yeah. 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 But. Uh, and you go from what, like I've seen guys like Brando Mireles. Like oh, yeah. I see that guy, and he kind of reminds me of your your you back um, in the day. Except he doesn't play harmonica. Brando's great. Player. Yeah, he's one of my favorites. Oh. Is this off the second album? It's uh, it's off the third one. Third. Grupo Romance. 
I can listen to this music all night, man, all day. Oh, yeah, did you guys ever play with, uh, like, ever hang out with Maz back then? Because I remember that that football stadium, Maz played, too. And then there was a time when uh, Jimmy said, okay, now's the time when y'all can come and touch Joe. <laughs> Oye, las viejas fueron y le rompieron toda la ropa oh y la chingada, bro. Great. Como el saco de Mario. <laughs> el, cuando tiró Mario el saco. The women were crazy. Parecían the Beatles ustedes, bro. Oh, man. ¿Verdad? Did you feel like that, man? God. What would you say after a show like that, man? Know, You'd man. get back in. As a matter of fact, after that, after that show at the football stadium, I went because I had already gone to see you with uh, with my mom. And you took me in the bus. Yeah. It was uh, the Silver Eagle, the one, but it had tires. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Brand new goodness. tires. But it was like a darkish, brownish, uh, maroonish. It was our second bus. That was your second bus. Yeah, second, second Silver Eagle. Oh, yeah. Oye, cuando tienes dos voces, shut up. <laughs> that's, that's haciendo papeliza, They're papa. asking on the chat How can we contact them for a show like Nicolás A. Rodríguez said um, He, Carlos inspired I mean, Oscar, sorry Oscar inspired so many keyboardists Including myself wow. And then there's someone else here on the chat that says um, That he I had the honor to play for a year with Oscar in the Conjunto Bernal I've learned so, so much from him Jason Jam 04 Como tú nice. el conjunto Bernal, Oscar, cuando estás. You were playing with them? I helped them out uh, at, at their church. Okay. Yeah. And uh, was that here at the church here in McAllen? Yes. That uh, was pretty crazy how he passed away and then his son passed away right was, after him. It was, it was really crazy. Como era Paulino, bro? I never really got to meet him in person, man. He was a very nice person. Sí. He, had, he was very sociable. And uh, if, he, if you would talk to him, like you wouldn't, you wouldn't think he was so famous with him. But mm -hmm. He was, he was Very always humble. there and talented. Like, uh, I must have been when I started playing. I think I was like 16 years old, mm -hmm. and they were playing in Kingsville, and uh, he let me play a polka with them. Oh, really? And like that was to me. It was, it was yeah. Max. You know, yeah. Like, uh, Él, oh. es, él es el Jimi Hendrix el acordeón, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, he was. ¿Verdad? Right, that's right. I yeah. mean, have you ever, everybody, anybody ever tell you that or, or, or use that analogy? <laughs> very, you, very unique. Because he would play the accordion in ways that people were like, how is he doing that? Yes. You know, I've heard some of his books. He recorded a secular music album with uh, Mando Lichtenberger yes. from La Mafia. And he did it's Puras Polcas. And I was like, how is he doing that? Right. I mean, pretty amazing. Yes. Y cuando estabas aquí en la, en, en, you know what, when, when he got out of the music biz and he went into uh, Christian, mm -hmm. man, he, he, man, it went really, got really big for him. Yes, Radio stations all over the United States and he really, really excelled in that. And uh, so you were able to be part of that then. Yes, huh? I, I was invited by a friend of mine, Mr. Ernie uh, Bernal Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. That's that's his uh, uh, nephew. Oh, right. and he's a bass player. He sings also. Matter of fact, he helped us out. He sat in with us with Romance. Mm -hmm. In Vegas. In Vegas. See? Sí. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he invited me. He says, hey, would you like to come and help us? I said, yeah, sure. So uh, he had some recordings that they had done with keyboard. So I did those parts and, and whatever I, I could feel that he needed there, I would play with him. And I had a great time. It was it was, to me, something different. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I felt real relaxed when I was playing there. You know, like, like I was serving. See, si. it was it was part of me giving back. See, si. during the like, '90s, Oscar, ¿qué andas haciendo during the '90s? Uh, I mean, Mario had obsession, yeah. and then you started Sierra. What year did you start Sierra? Oh no, it, Sierra was uh, Chendo and, and Rocky's uh, oh. band, and you joined them. Me and Jimmy and, and, and remember Jerry? Sí, Jerry. Jerry Vasquez. Yeah. Que en paz descanse, yeah. Jerry. Yeah. Amazing bass player de yeah. Donna, Texas yeah. también. Yeah. He played with my heavy metal band. Actually. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. So then you, you you had Obsession and then you joined Sierra. Well, yeah. Uh, we got together and started doing some gigs. Yeah. Chendo's a little, he's, he's, he's got some uh, 
some health issues también, por mm -hmm. pero, uh, you know, we send yeah. our prayers out to Chendo and Mina and them. Uh, I remember Salud. seeing Chendo and uh, it was uh, his his birthday in a little bar there in, uh, in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. And he brought out these two little kids and one of them was playing uh, drum, bass and the other one was playing uh, accordion. Era Rocky and, and uh -huh. his brother. They were wow. very little. They started like the Ibarra boys. Really? Right? Yeah. Wow. yeah. They were starting like with the Ibarra boys. Yep. So, and then, so through the 90s, you were with Chendo then. Well, not, not, not. All the way through, you know, it was just on and off. And then you you went. And of course, I was I was uh, started working uh, for the county after that. Oh, really? And then you started doing the leyendas. Yeah. How was it working with uh, you know Freddie? Oh, it was good, man. It was, it was awesome. Agustin, just yeah. ic icons in the music oh, yeah, industry. Yeah, yeah. Guys that you all grew up listening to, That's right? right? Exactly. <laughs> That's crazy, Idols? right? Yeah. <laughs> wow, man. You guys were, that's all the guys you were looking up to back when you were young. Oh, yeah. yep. And now you're back, they're backing them up. Yep. And those so, guys are in their 80s, yeah. Right? Little Joe, Ruben Ramos. Carlos. Uh, Carlos Guzman, ya tiene 80. Joe Bravo. Joe Bravo. And I think Joe passed away. Passed didn't away, he? yes, he did. Yeah, Joe Carlos Pastor. Miranda as well. Carlos Miranda, yeah, I used to go stay at his house con su, su chavalo ahí en uh, Seguin. There you go. Pero I, I was always a big fan of the music with uh, with horns and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody was saying that you guys were actually the first band to put keyboards to Tejano. Because it was Chicano before that, you know, the Chicano movement with Little Joe and it was all orchestra. <laughs> a lot of people say it was Maz that added the synthesizers no. first, but it was you guys. Was it you guys? That guy in the corner right there. It was you, right? I, I brought in the, the keyboard with Los Unicos because I, I was playing accordion when uh -huh. I first started with them. Orale. And the guys told me, hey, you know what? Uh, the orchestras are really hitting it hard. Uh, we need to compete with them. And sí. The only way is for you to get a keyboard. I says, I don't know. I don't know anything about keyboard. <laughs> so I went and got me one, started messing around. And when I played in the accordion, it started, okay. This will Still hit the air stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, didn't, I didn't know I was doing anything different, you know. But uh -huh. It worked. It worked fine. And until and somebody told me, he says, hey, you know, you're doing accordion licks on, on the keyboard. I says, oh, really not. I didn't, I didn't even know, you know. It's just, I was just doing it. Yeah, it felt good and, and it made me happy, you know. So. Mm -hmm. The so. synthesizers are the ones where you could change the different tones and sounds and yes. all that. I was carrying one of those a uh, uh, mini mood. Yeah. yeah. How how long did it take you to figure out all the different sounds you could get out of that thing? I mean, I could imagine you'd have to play with it all day, right? Well, I did. <laughs> 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 you have to, right? No, como, oh, it's yeah. como la guitarra yeah. le pones efectos también. Yeah. You gotta yeah. play with them yeah. and come out with that sound. And and but I like missed, we're yeah. listening right now, and you had all those little chimes, and it would change your your songs. Like you said, not to keep the song boring, you would change different tones and the different sounds and stuff. Yeah. And not many people can hear that; they just hear the song as a whole. But I'm the type que tengo que oír oh, yeah. cualquier cosita en la onda. Background. And man, and that would, that's what would always attract me to the music de romance is all the different little effects and sounds and little little things that people don't realize that are in there to make the, com the song complete, right? If you take mm -hmm. him out, it sounds different. Yeah. Have you all oh, recorded gosh. anything lately, man? No. What's keeping you all from recording, bro? Tengo un camarada con un estudio, carnal. Los meto ahí de volada. Hago finance el primer single, carnal. We were uh, we were set to uh, to record with Freddy. Uh huh. We went down there. We made a a date, right? Yeah. Yeah. Start recording, and then boom, the virus hit. Pues no tienes que ir tan lejos, oh, carnal. Aquí tengo camarada con un estudio. ¿Cuándo vamos o qué? I mean, nos aventamos una rola o algo. Think think of a good song you want to do, man. Y hablamos con mi camarada Chuy. He's got an amazing studio, man. He's got an amazing Something engineer. Chuy Cavazos? No, es otro camarada oh, Chuy. Okay. Chuy Cavazos, no, no habla con Chuy de Grupo Sereno. You all recorded with him before? Uh, yes. Sí. Back, back in the day when tenía an old studio. Yeah. Uh, está, I remember at that studio that Gemma had a cassette release party. Cassette release party. Cállate la boca, chera. <laughs> yeah. Cassette. Hey, no trae nada contra 8-track, carnal. 8-track. Oh, romance 8-track. I got so a romance 8-track, bro. This is this is going in my museum, papá. Susta me one time. But uh, uh, Gemma was doing a, a CD, a cassette release party. No habían CDs todavía. Y llegó Esteban Jordán ahí. Y no, hombre, estamos poreando y nos aventamos un. Yikes. 
<laughs> and he had like this black old school Cadillac 72, you know. You know, you all, did you all get to know Steven? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ese vato no era about luxury and, you know, lo nuevo, nada. He, he's, he was very eccentric, you know. And so we're sitting in the car and I'm in the back seat. I'm stoned out of my mind, right? And he's putting some music. He's put, showing me some new music. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> And he's looking at me going, I'm a musical genius, man. I'm a musical genius. And I'm like, you're a musical genius, la, la. <laughs> But uh, he was an amazing, uh, amazing, amazing musician. Oh, yeah. Very yes, talented. Sound. Very talented. Yeah. Very talented. And he was around the time that Romance, he was like early 70s and, and late 70s, right? Did you all ever get we, to uh, hang we, out with him? Uh, yeah, when we used to play in Corpus, remember? Yeah, you would go and 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 he would jam with us. He'd get up there, uh, and do some polkas and whatever. Whatever. We used to all play together. Yeah. So, ¿qué onda? Hacemos un record, ¿o qué? Una canción o algo. Grabamos algo. Oh, no. Okay. Gotta do it. Yeah. Yo, yo, pongo un pinche Go Fan ahorita, cana. No, si no, <laughs> oh, no necesitamos ni Go Fan. Yo yo me viento el yo viento el financing para la sing. Uh, yo fund. Go, yeah. <laughs> yo fund. La hago con mi camarada. Nos metemos a estudio. You all think of a song, man. What do y'all think? What are they saying on, on the chat? Plenty. We should do it, right? Yeah. Plenty of. I um, mean, guys. Uh, Ramiro Maldonado Jr. I would love to hear new a new album from Romance. Oh, una rola. That's y de a ahí, great idea. De ahí grabamos un video de ustedes nomás ahí tocando como este lo están haciendo los norteños y los los conjuntos Delta Boys. Mm -hmm. They dress up and they put a little you know like a oh, yeah. like a production and then they. Vamos a, my band, vamos a grabar un, 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 unos videos. Acabo de hacer una rola, pero I'm not going to say who's in it, but there's some big names in the new song that my band's releasing. Right, but we're going to film a video, and we're going to have the setup in case you guys get something going, and okay. we can do it all together. Kill 10 birds with one stone. Papa, susta, me want that. Would you all be willing to do that? Sure, I'm, I'm down. Man. That's See? good. Mm -hmm. Still have some of my keyboards there. See? Le sacas los dusty, el caralaña, y todo se jale. Oh, yeah. The classic keyboards, man. They don't have dust, man. These guys take care of their shit, right, man? I mean, mm -hmm. these guys, it's, oh, yeah. it's like, <laughs> yeah. y ahí tiene el saxofón. ¿Todavía tienes el saxofón, Mario? I'm still playing. I'm doing uh, a Roberto. Ah, sí? Yeah. Orale, where have you guys gone lately? Well, uh, gone all over the place. See? It's kind of slow it, right now, but, uh, you know. Is it a lot different touring with him now than it was back in the it 70s? It is, because things have changed so much. Uh -huh. uh, but, you know, we do what we can do. Orale. Yeah. Nombre. ¿Qué dice Roberto de? Yeah, I anda. I saw him this, we saw him this morning yeah. at sí. the Legends Breakfast. What is Legends Breakfast? Just get together, man. <laughs> you all look at each other like, should we tell them? No. Is it first, of the, first, first Wednesday of the... Tejano, Tejano Legends Breakfast? Yes. Every... every uh, first Wednesday? First uh, Wednesday of the month. That is awesome, man. Big. It's just uh, so, so musicians can get together and socialize and... and they haven't seen each other for years. That's they, awesome. They set up yeah. una mesa ahí con unos micrófonos, unas cámaras, right. You're welcome mm -hmm. anytime. Right. All right, let me know. And it was this morning. We were last month. They didn't have and have it because uh, Lalo Reina had, had to go to Corpus last month. So, sí. el papá de Lalo Reina exactly. Jr. Exactly. exactly. He's a he's a founder of, of that. That's right. He, uh, I just spoke with him. I've been wanting to bring him on también on the show. And I started that members only club now. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the join button and uh, become a member today of our extra, extra members only exclusive content. All right. And I'm going to be sitting down with artists. Like if I do go do that Legends uh, breakfast and I put a table there, I, I, they've already got a table there. And I'll put some microphones and we'll set it up and we'll sit down. And I'll bring every legend in to tell me one great story from the 70s or the 80s. And that content can That's go on awesome. the members only, exclusive, right? Yep. Esto. Ladies and gentlemen, Grupo Romance. Bueno, más. Todos los hits que salieron de este álbum, bro, I'm still freaking out, man. There's not many albums that did that. No. Especially debut. This is like, I think the only album that had that many hits was Guns N' Roses. <laughs> right? Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Like right there, the, 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 the keyboard sound. Bien Saloon, Western Saloon. And then the I hear accordion and synthesizer there. There are different tracks in that one. Oh, yeah. 
Exacto. de mi pobre corazón. La guitarra. Una box guitar. Y en la armónica, en western. This song has like a saloon type feeling, ¿verdad? Yeah. Like it western a, saloon. It was an upright piano. Órale. Yeah. You know what? Let's go through the songs and uh, let's let's talk about each song right here. Look at least a couple. This one. Near, 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 near. That's a guitar, right? Did you hear that, right? Is that the guitar? Yeah. Downstroke or upstroke? Oh, oh. Check out the lead right there. Did you hear that little guitar lick? Man, when I listen, I listen to everything. Right. Different sound. I'm surprised people haven't covered this song. Any artist hasn't covered this song. Chente la grabó. Ah, Chente la grabó. En la medley, ¿verdad? Good job. Yeah, he sings good. Now it's going to change a bit. The 70s keyboard. Now you're busy all over that song there, Oscar. Another sound right there right in the beginning. Man, you all need to stream this music all weekend long, man. Who who gets uh like who wrote this song? Did one of you guys write this song? No. Mm -mm. No? It's, it's, uh, some some uh, artist from Mexico. Yeah. Directo al registro. D A R. Es yeah. lo que ponían. Near, 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 near. I like that. What do you guys think when you hear this music, man? Uh, does it like what what comes to your mind when you hear it back? Uh, that, I, so, that song right yeah. there is bittersweet for me, man. Bittersweet, por qué? Uh, my uh, my son was sick. He was uh, mm -hmm. he was uh, the doctor told me he was gonna die. When the we were in the studio, wow. Me habló, my wife me dijo, hey, uh, the doctor told me okay, he was gonna. And that was right before I sang the the part of my my part. So I kind of uh, every time I listen to, it, I remember that. Wow. Nothing happened to him. He he made it, but oh, good. Yeah. But know. bittersweet, man. Yes. Bittersweet. You got some bad news while you were doing it. Before I, before I did it, yeah. yeah. I like this little part where you, you bring in another different sound on the keyboard, on the synthesizer, right after this first, uh, or this chorus. Right? Oh, yeah. Is this a bridge or a chorus? What would you call it? The bridge or the bridge. chorus? Bridge. Oscar. Oh, oh. So, or no? <laughs> oh, hey. He needs I like, to warm up. I like this part right here. Check out the keyboards. Right here. Dime si soy un tonto. Al no ver Sounds like a little thing from the, you know, a little yeah. that you would make noise, you know, sound with. <laughs> Make some noise. Yeah. Al mirar azul mi cielo. Cuando oyes tu voz, Mario, en esas rolas back in the day, estás chavalón, ¿no? Yeah. Does it take you back? Because that's what music does to many people. They hear a song and it oh, takes yeah. them back. It reminds them of, uh, you know, family, friends, a moment in their life. Yeah. 
It's a time capsule for them. I didn't know this was a a cover or a a song from somebody from Mexico. How did you all decide to do this one? Uh, We we would, uh, uh, my cuño Juan, Mm -hmm. and I would go go to Mexico to Reynosa. Uh And we would look for 45s. From from people See. that had they had not done anything, you know, yeah. weren't weren't popular. In other words, uh-huh. they they were recorded and just left under the under the de- the. They call them sleepers. Yes. Yeah. And we would ask the girl there, uh, "What songs have have you gotten here that don't that don't get played?" And she would give us a whole bunch. We'd buy them, bring them over, See? and listen to them. Yeah. yeah. And one of them was this one. That's one of them. And you all put it together. <laughs> that, that one, Botón de Niña, and some other ones, yeah. And then you've got the, this one. Um, sax. <laughs> Enamorado de Ti is the name of this one, folks. Right. It's on La Diferencia, the album. I like the breakdown on this song. It's coming up in a bit. The arrangements. So Juan had a lot to do with these arrangements. Oh, yeah. Man, that guy was. So you left Melvia Real and Los Unicos to join these guys? Okay, Oscar. Or no, it was Encanto, right? It was, I mean, Felicidades. No. Felicidad. Felicidades. Yeah. Oh, you, uh, Snowball and Company, no? Snowball and Company. Snowball and Company. Yes. And Snowball, what a character, no yes. Snowball. Oh, yeah. He was an albino, the guy. Great guy. Guitar player. Very talented. I used to freak out when the pictures of Snowball with his hair all slicked back with the black glasses yeah. and stuff when he was with Carlos Guzman. Right. Yeah. Here's a breakdown of it. I know I'm taking a lot of people that are watching. I'm taking them on memory. A throwback. Corresponde este cariño. Ya no me hagas más sufrir. He llorado como. That I freak out with this stuff. There was nothing like it back then. I don't think there was anything like this. I mean, I used to listen to different bands back then and and this one stood out more than anything else this music Right here, beginning. Yo soy de sí, solamente. Wow, man, that's that. Ah, that's a jab right there. And then you had this one right here. A... Cuckoo! <laughs> What made you do that, Oscar? It's, just, it's a bird sound, right? Like, yeah. what, where did that come from, bro? Just uh, acting silly. Yeah, <laughs> fit perfect. Oh, like it. La guitarra. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Se movía esa rueda. Do you guys miss playing together, man? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you all ever get together to jam or anything? No. When we got together last year to do that the Vegas show, we, we rehearsed for, you know, quite a bit. 
But uh, man, we enjoyed that. We were ready to go and do that up there. In it was Vegas. it was time, man. Yeah, it was time, oh, yeah. and it came out at the right time. And that reminds me. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed it very much. I'd like to uh, talk about Jimmy here, our, our associate. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been a lot of help. Uh, he's been a a big part of our our group now that See. we reformed. And he's dri- He's the driving force. Yes. 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 Yeah. A a Jimmy Lee was the bell guy. He loves all that wheeling and dealing yes. and all that stuff. And yeah. he's a he's a great person. His his sons are great. When I hint bro. Yes. Yeah, people. man. I, I call Jimmy once in a while when I need to rent his van out in La Bobby Pulido <laughs> when I had my van and for sale. You know, el Silver Eagle no quería prender. ¿Tienes? <laughs> no tenía, oh, no tenía no llantas. No tenía llantas tampoco. Man, those tires. Yeah. So le hablaba a Jimmy. Jimmy, ¿tienes el la van? Is a van available? So nos llevamos en la van. Y está bruta la van, la van porque tiene, es una Sprinter y tiene una cama atrás, carnal. So I could take a nap, pero. That's cool. Yeah, pero he's, he stays busy, ¿verdad? Oh, con Bobby, is. con. Roberto. He's so ¿qué dice Jimmy? Does Jimmy ever tell you guys, hey, let's get some Something rolling, it's some, something well, going. Yes, he does. Yeah. <clears throat> ¿Qué está pasando, Jimmy? Are we going to get you on? Do you want to? Where do you, you want to sit, Jimmy? Who do you want to <laughs> trade chairs with? Who can you cha- trade chairs with? Con quien, con, con Oscar. Yeah. Dale pa allá, vente pa allá. No, no, dale pa allá con Oscar. Ahorita viene pa atrás Oscar. Dad. Dale pa allá, Jimmy, pa que todos te vean porque todos están diciendo por quién chingaje, Jimmy está hablando hable de Jimmy. I'd like to send a shout out to my wife. Who's with us here today too, Alma Delia Montes. Orale. Hi. Alma, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Es todo. A ti no te voy a sacar videos como el Bronco, carnal. El Bronco 956 cuando lo tenía aquí, carnal. I had Bronco 956 here, don't be mad. Orale. Yeah, so uh, this was the song I was talking about, the guitar. The guitar, that little lick that you do on the guitar there. Orale, ya está Jimmy. El... El tío, de, el tío de Bobby Pulido, el cuñado de Roberto Pulido y el hermano de Mario Montes, ¿verdad? He's your little brother, ¿verdad, man? Yeah, I'm the oldest, he's the youngest. Yeah? Yeah. Fíjate, isn't that great, man, with your little brother? And we play together with Roberto. Sí. I'm on sax, he's on the drums. Órale. That's awesome. Yeah. You stay busy, Jimmy, don't you, man? Got to, man, got to. Uh, again, it's a, it's been a pleasure to be a part of this, this organization. Uh, these guys are, you know, it, it, Rock, a lot of people ask me in music, What's success, right? Because mm-hmm. you got a lot of successful artists, groups. People ask me, what's success? I said, look, in this business, you can be a trend or you can be a classic. Mm-hmm. These guys are classics. Hey. And it's an honor to be a part of them. You know, I, I love being on stage with my brother Mario and Miro and Oscar. They gave me an opportunity when I was very young. And even though I never started playing drums with them, I was with them since the beginning. Sí. You know, and uh, there's so many memories that uh, come along with it. You know, I think I talked to you about it before the show that when I was a, a senior in high school at Donna High School, I actually brought El Grupo Romance yeah. to perform at uh, Donna High School, which at that time, these guys were, they were the best of the best. You were a senior in high school? I was a senior, 1983. 1983. You know, so I, I talked to these guys. So, ya les and, six, okay, no, I'm barely going to be 40. Ah, sí. Porque yo soy del 8-5. No, but I, gra- five, so. I graduated when I was seven. Ah, ahora yeah. listo. <laughs> that makes sense. So, it adds a up. genius. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, no, but, but again, Rock, these guys are, I mean, I, I hear them and I talk to them and it's, it's, it's a great feeling, you know, like. The music is in our in our blood and our family, and even though we don't stay as busy as we'd want to, but like Miro says, you know, it's the demand is not there, you know. And I've always said, and we will put the phone number there right now if anybody's interested in booking a grupo romance. But you know, if these guys are gonna go perform, it's gonna cost much of money. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, they're worth it. You know, yeah. so and that's why we don't do a lot of stuff because. You have a lot of bands nowadays that'll that'll go play for peanuts. You gotta be selective. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these guys. They, they, they deserve a lot, uh, you know, so we're not going to do anything unless it's worth it. 
Five thousand yeah. dollars, Miro. No, nineteen eighty three, Papa. Hey, rock. <laughs> rock. Quit us. Five minutes. Hey, rock. Damn, man. Rock. That's awesome. Back in the eighties. Yeah. Now I gotta pay them five thousand dollars each. Yeah. Yeah. Hell you know? yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. To, to go play thirty minutes. Yeah. You know. So things have changed. But in uh, those thirty minutes, you're gonna hear songs from an hit. original band. It's that that has the timeless, rock. all these timeless hit, classics. Hit right? after hit. Like Mario was saying uh, last year, we had the privilege of playing at the the Hano Convention. Shout out for to Mr. David Chavez. Um, you know, it was it was a hit after hit, you know, and people were saying, wow, you know, how do these guys have so many hits? But again, Rock, when Romance was popular back in the 80s, there was no social media. Mm -hmm. These guys made it all on heart and glory. Man. See, you know, there was no coming back with 59 yeah, that, bucks. Yeah, from Ovalde. yeah. But after that, that 59. Well, like Miro said, we're not going to say much right now. <laughs> On the show, because, I don't know, yeah, because to well, protect the innocent. Once uh, you know, well, Guns N' Roses was opening up for Alice Cooper, and all of a sudden, a, a month later, they were like, boom, you know, yeah, and that's what happened with you guys. All, all People can, got wind of your music. All you I know? can say is these guys made a lot of money, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, gracias a, a la gente, verdad, público. But um, again, it's a pleasure to be part of these guys. You know, um, I got to join them, and they gave me an opportunity that you know, it's it was a dream come true. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so. Do you want them to like uh, get together and record a song or something? Or I mean, it's all up to Miro, Mario, and, Juan, and Oscar. That they're the, that's the band. Uh, if they want to do it, we'll do it. Yeah, man, I, I think it'd be cool. Like yeah. you guys just get right. together and and you know, it's not it's it's not as crazy expensive as it used to be. Oh no, it's it's you very know? easy. I mean, people record and, in their houses nowadays. And you've got Bobby will back it up a hundred percent. I'm yeah, sure I yeah. would. You know, I mean, we all would. We all would support it. Well, we're not going to say no. It's something that we can definitely consider, um, and it's got to be worth it, of I think the, 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 the hardest part of getting together and putting some songs together is figuring out what songs, right? I mean, because you, uh, you want to, you know, you want it to count, like, you know what I mean? I think that'd be really hard for you guys. It has to be a song that fits the, the band. Yeah. yeah. You can just record something from... Miguel or something. No, no, and you're, then you say, oh, oh. yeah, you definitely got to have it's it planned out. It's got to be with our style, you know. Yeah, and like anything, rock, you have to feel it. The the, the group has to feel the music. It's got to be something that that you can feel. If you don't feel it, you got no business doing it. But you felt it in Las Vegas. Oh, it was great. Oh, I mean, the the response of the people were. ¿Qué te dijeron allá, Mario? <laughs> Did they come up and take pictures and all kinds of stuff? Well, man? You guys were the stars we, of the we, night, we, right? We, we Well, no, because uh, they brought uh, four groups from the 80s. Yeah. Gary Hobbs was there. Um, Pio. Pio. Pio Trevino was there. We were there. And uh, Hugo Guerrero Hugo, Hugo. from Pandango and Valde was there on the drums. That's a tour package right there. And, and, and David wanted, uh, well, through Rocky, wanted to put together like an 80s package. So we yeah. did like 25 minutes, 26 minutes of music, and that was it. We did play like six songs, and that was it. But the response from the people was was amazing. It's time for you guys to you create your, your Leyenda tour, too, bro. It's going to happen. Just like freaking Freddie and, and, Martinez and, right. you know, and them. Now it's y'all's. Uh, y'all were the next. They were the 70s. You guys are the 80s, bro. There's a video on YouTube that my sister Marta lives in San Antonio. She was there at the concert. She videotaped it. She loaded it onto YouTube. So if you want to see it, it's on Romance at Las Vegas, Tejano Takeover, July 7th, 9, 9, uh, 2023. Yeah, I, I saw it. And when you all started singing, the first chord of the song, people went nuts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they were dancing. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then you could hear the, the crowd singing along with us. Mm -hmm. It was like, whoa. You know. Yeah, and and if you're playing with Pio Trevino, Pio Trevino had a longer, I think, a longer uh, Set, career and yeah, a longer yeah, term yeah, than yeah, you guys. Yeah. I mean, you guys were limited with you know from '83 or '81 to like '87, '88, mm -hmm. right. and Pio was like from '81 to like forever. Yeah, forever. <laughs> and then, but I honestly think Freddie, Agustin, Carlos, Sunny, Sunny, they they did their you know, their tour. You guys should be like that package right there. You, Pio, and I mean, I think that's a package that could be sold, bro. Facile. Oh, yeah. No, like I said, Rock, it's, it's been, it's been uh, put on the table before, and it's something that we definitely are going to consider this year. I went to a dance here in, in Far. Uh, it was Gary Hobbs, right, babe? It was Gary Hobbs. And mm -hmm. it was at the, the community center, I think it was. It's, uh, the Pepe Salinas? Yeah. Yes, the new one yeah. in Far. And, mm -hmm. uh, that was the tronco, bro. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. There's still people. I mean, if you guys, you guys could fill that place yes. up easy, dude. Mm-hmm. Easy. I can hablar con Mike. Yeah, because I want to go to a dance. I, I, I never, I never got to dance to you guys, bro. Wow. When I was a kid, I wasn't dancing. I was like, you know, I was still a, I was young. Da chava, oh, yeah. no, y las rucas me tenían miedo, carnal, ¿entiendes? Estaba bien feo, oh gordo y la chingada, ¿entiendes? Este, y, so, si quería bailar, tenía que bailar solo, ¿entiendes? Pero I'd like to go to a dance and see you guys and have you guys play all these songs. I'll dance all of them, bro. And I'm sure everybody else will, too. We'll dedicate a song to you. Hacemos unos tickets, rentamos el salón, carnal, y los vendemos y los hacemos promote aquí en PVT, en social media, y vendemos sold out. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do it, Rock. We're gonna VIP do it. VIP tables, papá. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, selfie, autograph uh, session, tan VIP, una meet and greet. Yes, for sure. That would be I awesome. I mean, there's mm-hmm. a lot of capabilities with mm-hmm. these guys that are still here with us, thanks to God. Thank God. ¿Verdad? Thank God. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Romance, <laughs> man. We have a super chat from Rick Rodies. He's Hola. saying, Fuerte abrazo y saludos al grupo Romance. They're super humble and classy guys. Always thanks for the memories, gentlemen. God bless y'all. So Thank we, you, Rick. We've got some events to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this weekend, uh, Friday night, I'm going to be hosting a, uh, a comedy. It's a stand-up comedy contest at the Landmark there in Alamo. If you want to go and laugh your ass off, uh, go on over there to the landmark on Tower and Old 83. I'll be the host, and uh, we're going to have, like, I don't know how many contestants are there, and they've got to do, like, three to five minutes of comedy. Y pues yo estoy ahí para echarles chingo de mosca. ¿Me entiendes? So, nadie se me va a escapar. It's going to be a lot of fun. You better get there early because it's going to be packed, hosted by yours truly, Rock and Roll James, this Friday. It's the second annual stand-up comedy contest, and it's at the Landmark on Tower, and it's brought to you by Tumbleweed Comedy Presents, which is uh, Rick Cano. Then uh, April 5th, 6th, and 7th. It's this weekend as well. Three days. It's the 57th South Music Festival in Eagle Pass, the Kikapoo Casino Outdoor Grounds. Uh, Check it out. We've got a commercial for that right here. Experience the 57 South Music Fest in Eagle Pass, Texas, April 5th through 7th. This three-day festival features an incredible lineup, including Ramona Yala, Parker McCollum, Chris Young, Randy Rogers Band, plus many more. After the festival, witness a total solar eclipse on April 8th, a historic event for Eagle Pass and Texas. Get your tickets now at 57southmusicfest.com for an unforgettable journey of music and cosmic wonder. And as a matter of fact, I think most of Texas is going to be cloudy, mm-hmm. and Eagle Pass is like the only area that's going to be clear for the for for the, the eclipse, right? Mm-hmm. And so that's going to be an amazing. And it's the first time Ramon Ayala ever plays in Eagle Pass. He's yeah. never played there, and Bobby Pulido is going to be there as well. And then Bobby's got an event happening here in Edinburgh. The following Saturday, April 13th, I will be the host that evening. It's Cora Fest 2024. It'll be from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Promenade Park Amphitheater in Edinburgh, Texas. Music festival with biggest uh, the biggest middle school and high school conjunto competition in Texas. If you want your conjunto, no matter where you're from, to be involved, get a hold of them. It's Cora Fest 2024. It's uh, right there. Does your school have a conjunto program? Just register uh, and uh, go to their social media and you'll find out. Bobby Pulido is also putting it up. And he's, uh, it's, he's really excited about this event. And um, we're going to have some fun. And then at night, Elvis Javier y su grupo Norteño Ram Herrera. And reflejo activado. Okay, I'll be the I'll be the host. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. And then Saturday, April thirteenth, it's the Crawfish Festival, South Padre Island Convention Center. Bryn Kelly, formerly of the Florida Georgia Line. Tickets at eventbrite.com and sopadre.com. Check out this commercial. Get ready for the ultimate experience at the South Padre Island Crawfish Festival. Join us April 13th at the South Padre Island Convention Center. Enjoy delicious crawfish, shrimp, and live music with Brian Kelly of Florida Georgia Live. What's up, friends? Brian Kelly here, and I'm super stoked to invite y'all to the South Padre Island Crawfish Festival. With special guest arrows and the drifters. Make sure you buy your tickets now at eventbrite.com, South Padre Island Convention Center, soulpadre.com, and all the boot jacks. Valley Wide Crawfish Festival 2024 at the South Padre Island Convention Center. Orale. It's going to be fantastic. Get your tickets at Event Bright. Then Saturday, April 27th, that's towards the end of the month, Concierto Inolvidable, La Mafia, Los Musicales, uh, Marcos Orozco, Iconics. It's in Pearland, Texas with uh, 
Quarter Moon Productions. And we've got a spot for that as well, too. Check it out. Pearland, Texas, get ready for Concierto Inolvidable, Saturday, April 27th at Independence Park, featuring Grammy Award winner and internationally acclaimed La Mafia. Este es el momento para enamorar. La Mafia. Me estoy enamorando hoy de ti, pero perdidamente. El compadre DLG, David Ligaza y los musicales. Estoy muriendo por tus besos. Plus, Marcos Orozco. Cuida de tu vida en tu camino. Also, Mike Gonzalez and the Iconics, hosted by Bumper Gomez and DJ Double O. Get your VIP and standard tickets at mafiaqmp.eventbrite.com. For general and ticket information, please call 979-665-1923. Brought to you by Aranda's Franchises, Foss Distributors, and Quarter Moon Productions, where the stars meet the moon. Orale. And then, on that, we wanted to go to that show, but we're not going to make it because we're going to be... In Odessa, Texas, it's the Chile Relleno Comedy Tour, Papa. Asusta me one time. It's the big Chile Relleno Comedy Tour. Raymond Horta, Mario Salazar, and myself, Rock and Roll James, and uh, Joshua J. Nieto. Dos amigos. It's an awesome bar there in Odessa. Saturday, April 27th. Uh, show starts about 8 p.m., so get there early, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Dos Amigos presents the Big Chile Relleno Comedy Tour. All our fans up there in the Midland, Odessa, and Rankin area, uh, make sure Big Lake. Go by, check it out. We're going to have a lot of fun. And then finally, Memorial Weekend, Friday, Saturday, May 24th, 25th. It's the Memorial Weekend Bash in Victoria, Texas. Look at the lineup. La Mafia, Signo, Duelo, Los Musicales, Jennifer Peña, Eli de Reina, Jay Perez, Iconics, Lucky Joe, er Eric Imasore. Uh, this is just going to be an amazing... And they're adding more... Uh, as a matter of fact, Madison Pulido is going to be there as well. So it's going to be an amazing event and everybody's invited. It's two days. You might want to get a room over there. We want it to be there as well, but we're going to be in Vegas that weekend, so we won't be able to make it. But let me tell you, if we weren't somewhere else, we'd be there, man. It's going to be a fantastic show, Victoria, Texas. Also want to thank uh, Bajo Sextos M3. These guys have some amazing bajos. ¿Tú tocas el bajo sexto, Miro, también? Yes, sir. Estos bajos sextos tan brutos, bro. Watcha. They're home. Uh, they're, uh, ¿cómo dice? They're, they're custom made. Custom made. And they'll sure. make them for you with your name on it and everything. Really nice. Ladies and gentlemen, those are the best bajo sextos M3. And uh, Joe Farias from the David Farias band uh, plays it. Mario Quintero, Los Tucanes, Pepe Lizondo, El Grupo Pesado, Poncho Quesada, Los Dos Carnales, and other musicians from the U.S. and Mexico. As a matter of fact, we have a message from uh, good old uh, Pepe Lizondo, El Grupo Pesado. Check it out. estos M3, gracias por esta joya que tengo en mis manos y a toda la gente le recomiendo si quieres un buen bajo sexto machín bajo sextos M3 es lo de hoy muy pesado I want to thank you man the San Antonio, the number one what's, what's that again baby? It's uh, the number? Yeah, 210 717 6834 is the number to call if you want to get one custom made and we also want to thank Top Floor Classic Car Dealerships you know, Mario has a classic Corvette. These guys got some classic cars, man. Check it out. They got a lot. Ahí in Brenham, Texas, tienen troquitas. Uh, también tienen motorcycles para Miro. Si le gustan los Harley Davidson, papá, asustame yeah, yeah. one time. Look at those old school cars del 57, papá. Mira, qué bárbaro. They've got some amazing vehicles. Tony and Carlos, uh, give them a call, 979-337-1006. And uh, follow them on Facebook at Top 4 Cars, Instagram at Top 4 Cars, Brenham, YouTube at Top 4 Cars, Top4Cars.com. Check out all their inventory. They've got plenty. And if you've got a car you want to sell, uh, just go ahead and uh, give them a call, and they can do some, uh, you know, uh, what do they call it, consignment? Consignment. You, know, you can put it on their lot, and they'll sell it for you. But give them a call, and uh, it's 979-337-1006, Top4Cars.com. Orale. Orale, right here. 
And I also want to thank Brody's Country Fried Chicken. Oye, vas a estar tú ahí en Eagle Pass, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. Con Bobby el, yeah, este on weekend. Sunday. On, on Sunday. Sunday? Yeah. Pues te para ahí en Rhodes, ahí está cerquita del Kickapoo. I'm, I'm there. That show's happening at the Kickapoo Casino Correct. outside the, the grounds. In the parking lot. Yeah, in the parking lot. And uh, it's going to be a fantastic event right across the street, a little bit uh, west. Ahí está Rhodes Playland. Vamos a dar la vuelta para allá. Párate ahí en la van con Bobby y levanta una caja de pollo de gizzards, papá. Y te dan un, un sauce que está bruto, bro. Te voy a traer un 12-piece rack. Es, tráeme, por favor, de, porque chinga, ya estoy bien antojado de ese jale, carnal. Rhodes Country Fried Chicken. Un saludito para Rick Rhodes, 1910 in Indio Highway, the fastest drive through in Texas. But go to their playland, man. That's where it's at. Call in your order, 830-773-9189. Orale. Wow. Estamos bien ocupados. Ben, this is you. This is you. Se me estoy tapando la cara. Yeah, the whole face. Hey. So, tienes un super chat, babe? Okay. Yes, I have another super chat real quick. I think I lost it. No, Franco R., He says, saludos from Chicago, puro conjunto. Arale. Thank you, Franco. All right. Well, guys, uh, I appreciate you all coming, man, Mario. No Thank problem. You. I mean, this is the first time you ever come and sit down, and I hope it's not the last one. Oh, and uh, if you guys do get something going, man, you can expect 100% support from me. Thank you, bro. Okay? Appreciate that. Thank Because you. I'd, love to, I'd love to see you guys record a song, at least, you know, a song. Because nowadays, you don't have to record a whole album. No, no. Con una rola o dos, tres rolas que grabes y sacas una y que ya, ya, ya. And then we put it up and make it go viral, tell all our fans to share it. And then, you know, it goes out. And maybe there could be a, a, a little tour behind it. Nothing too major, you know, every once in a while, every twice a month or something. I really honestly think I could see a Legends tour with you guys. And, you know, like the, the lineup that was in Las Vegas. Yes, sir. You guys could, man, you guys could make a killing, bro. What do you Everything. think? How, how do you feel about that? No, we're going to do it, Rock. We'll, we'll get you as the MC. Orale. Yo también soy legend, carnal. Classic yeah. legend. Y eres el Valle. Me ponieron en el Hall of Fame. Y eres el Valle. Yeah. 956. Hall of Famer. Are you guys, you guys are definitely in the Hall of Fame, right? Have they inducted you guys into the Hall of Fame there in Alice? Yeah. No. Everyone, I am. They've invited me, but... Oscar is, I am, falta miro. I think Sam Lopez was uh, talking to sí. Ted Lopez about that. Yeah. I went, I went to yeah. the other one in Brownsville. Yeah, in Brownsville. Yeah, in Brownsville. See? Oh, yeah. yeah. Que tienen en Brownsville? Uh, they've got another one that they do uh, in Brownsville. Uh -huh. And that one, when they did that one, me and Oscar went in there. Yeah. And then they got Miro to go in there. Mm -hmm. But a Miro le falta el del Tejano Roots. Sí, Miro, faltas tú, carnal. I ¿Cómo, mean, ¿cómo lejo Alice? No, hombre, yo te, yo, te, yo, te, yo, te, yo te doy pal gas, carnal. Le pongo llantas en el bus y la chingada. Nos, nos, vamos, nos vamos en el Silver Eagle. De vos, le te ponemos un llantas. Un go fan me. <laughs> te ponemos llantas en el bus, carnal. <laughs> el bus. That's a funny story, dude. You went to go pick up a bus and there was no tires on it. Uh, I'm not lying. It's, it's I, but, I believe you. I said, it's, it's funny, dude. It's crazy. What, what, did you bring the tires? Uh, Look, man, we flew over here. What do you mean? We're, Take the tires hey, off hey, the plane or something. Hey, hey, Rock, there's a story. That bus, that was the first bus that I ever drove. Oh, uh, see. Because the driver got drunk. <laughs> and I had to drive it from Rio Grande to, back to the house. And I was probably about 17 years old. And I was... Who was it, Willie? El nombre... Uh, Sin licencia. Beto. Beto. Oh, Beto. Oh. Yeah, so he was drunk. I said, I got to get home. So I drove the bus home. And it's that same bus, man. Yeah. Got some stories. Chiquis, so. Oh yeah, so so you you bought tires for it over there, or came it all? No, we talked to a guy into giving us some bald tires uh -huh. or whatever, and we just drove with those. See, si. yeah, because yeah. they they don't own the tires, and those uh, bus lines they rent them. See, si. you know, so they don't own the tires, and they, they just replace them. You know, uh -huh. the company that rents. See, si. so uh, we we talked him into giving us some bald tires, uh -huh. and like I say, se know? subieron en el bus y se persinaron y vámonos. <laughs> 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 Bendito sea Dios. <laughs> 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 Those were funny. We said that plenty of times on the road, right, man? Yeah. Bendito sea Dios, yeah. Yeah. man. We're still here, man. Yeah, that bus took us to a lot of places, man. Yeah. yeah. Wow, man. It's amazing having a, a career, man. And we're still here like that. You Thank know? God. You guys, I'm really glad you guys are here. And I'm really glad you guys are still capable of performing and, and singing and playing and Because you guys are, are an institution here in the Rio Grande Valley. Grupo Romance, man. Well, thank you for having us, Rock. Appreciate yeah. it, man. Oh, man. Thank you for coming by. And 
I had asked uh, I had asked uh, Jimmy a while back, and and we finally got it together. Good. Yeah, and uh, and I was really excited about having you guys here, man, because uh, you know I hear your music and I go back to my youth, you know, okay. and I'm sure a lot of people that are watching that, you know, grew up with you guys, uh, mm -hmm. feel the same way, and you look great, Thank Mario. You too, también, Miro. Thank you, brother. You guys look the same. Put the picture of the first picture, mate. Uh, I mean, uh, you all pretty much look the same. I mean, you rock. Pues Jimmy, no estás ahí. Tú estás, oh. tú estás atrás ahí. Hey, este. Believe it or not, people think that I'm older than Mario, man. Sí. Yeah. No, hombre, Mario se cuida de la madre. Yeah, he's, he's got a secret, man. So. <laughs> Did you? You guys never got to, got into the really par heavy party lifestyle, right? It was more and more. No, no. No. We never did. Because that, that was easy to do when you were in the bands, you know, back in well, the day, in the 80s. It was, it was in the younger days, but uh, what I uh, would mail it out. Yeah, but still, the younger days, I don't, were, were, did, it, did the parties get really crazy? Well, man, we, no, we, we get not, too Not much. parties, but, uh, you know. Yeah, when drinking. You're, when, you're, when, you, when you play, like in December, uh, ask remember, in December, we used to play como 20-some days out of the whole month. Wow. Yeah. So, you don't know, you, if you're going to party... You're gonna die or whatever, you know, but <laughs> you're not gonna make it uh -huh. if you party every night. So we, yeah. we kind of did that. Did that? Did that ever cause? I mean, and, and that's what kept you going, right? I mean, you had to have some sort of because sometimes alcohol kind of gives you that, that energy to get back on right. and do it, right? Or at least yeah. we thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, a rock. Yeah, because like Mito says, back in the day, uh, the gigs were Thursday, Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. Sunday, and mm -hmm. Monday. Nowadays, groups play once a month, you know, so. And then you're on the road, and uh, and, and there's no cell phone. There's no iPad. Yeah. There's no internet. Yeah. What do you do on the bus in those long road hours, you know? And then if you got to call somebody, you got to wait till you get to a store and make a pay phone, you know? Or, or if you get lost, you have, to look, a, you have to look at a map. Los quarters. Yeah. Eh? Saca los quarters y los nickels para el pay phone. No, uh -huh. habla collect. Uh, accept this collect call from... <laughs> Mario, <laughs> yeah, remember that? yeah, remember? yeah, dude. I've been getting yeah, collect yeah. calls from the county, bro. Camaradas that are done in Cerrados, chica. Hey, a collect call from. Hey, I'm like, all right, estoy aquí en el condado carnal. Would you like to accept? Ingao, get a commissary. Quiere ser unos cuantos county spreads ahí, entrar unos cuantos, uh, ¿cómo se llaman los soupies, ma? ¿Cómo se llaman los uh, ramen the lazy, noodles? Yeah, the ramen noodles. Uh -huh. Hacen un spread ahí. Los que tienen un, they have, the county has its own special recipes there <laughs> and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, man, I want to thank you guys for coming by. Thank Oscar, you, you are a gem, dude. This guy is a gem, man. Yes. Yes, he is. Absolutely. And Miro, también tú, carnal. Thank you, brother. I mean, y te watchas a toda madre, carnal. ¿Qué andas manejando una bike ahorita? ¿Qué bike someone, tiene? Yeah, someone was asking that too. What does he drive? What street does he line. ride? A street glide? A street glide. Yeah, oh, I nice. know. 14. ¿Yo también? Yeah, right. a 2014 exactly street glide. Exactly, 14. No más que ya no tengo tiempo para andar en la yonca, carnal. <laughs> I mean, es que yo tengo, I got, I got about four, three projects going on right now. I, I, I uh, restore old, old cars. Ajá. Uh -huh. And uh, believe, I don't, I don't have that much time either, man. Yeah. I'd rather work on the cars than be riding around and just, you know. Sí. So, uh, Isn't it great? Wind therapy, bro. Nothing like it. El otro día oh. llegué a la casa, tenía la presión por en que te la chingada, cara. 160 over 102, algo así. Uy. Me subí en la yonca y me fui. Regresé. 128 over 82, cara. <laughs> me quitó la high blood pressure, la yonca. Yeah. Put some breeze on your knees. <laughs> te tienes que, I like getting away from humanity, bro. You know, oh, yeah. you know, te vas allá para los country roads, bro. Have you ever rode the hill country, bro? I have. Qué bárbaro, no. Qué bonito, so beautiful. ¿verdad? It's so beautiful. Híjole, beautiful. there's nothing oh, like it, bro. It is, and people don't, people that have never experienced it don't know it. No. Oye, oh, no, tengo miedo. Bro. ¿Y te llevas a la baby doll contigo? No. no. La baby doll. No, no. Sí. Sí. And there's a lone ranger, that mighty. Uh, lone wolf. Lone wolf lone McQuaid. Yo me llevo la baby doll. Nos vamos. Una vez nos fuimos solos allá. No, hombre, we had some crazy stories yeah, over there. Y allá, awesome. allá murió Benny Layton, pobrecito. Oh, yeah, sí. se, mm -hmm. se mató en, una, en un accident over yeah. there. And we went with so him. Sad, we went in a group with him the, the, the before the, the time before Fire they had time. gone. And then yeah. that, that time we couldn't go. And that mm -hmm. ended up happening. But... Uh, yep. Yeah, I mean, you all knew Benny Lake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. What an amazing person, or that. Oh, yeah. I mean, to have a football stadium named after you, man. He, he was the one that be, began the La Estudiantina. You well, know? That's what I was going to say, Rock, not to mention the fact 
of so many musicians that he inspired. Yes. Yeah. You know, that's amazing. Ed Couch, Delta Area. A lot of talent. Chingo de músicos, carnal. Pues el Valle, bro. Dana también. Dana. Los Oneños. Romance. En el Far San Juan Álamo también. Salieron muchos músicos ahí. Mel Villarreal, Oscar Solís. Los únicos. Los únicos. Los únicos. Yeah. Rick González. Me acuerdo Rick González, Grupo Pesado. ¿Qué le pasó a Rick González? I don't know what happened to him. I haven't seen him. You all remember him? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, I haven't seen that guy. I remember. Pues yo jalaba en Studio 4 ahí en Harlem. Okay, yeah. I don't know if you guys ever played there. Con Mariano. Con Mariano. Pilecki. Y pues ahí pasaban todos. Por ahí pasaban todos los músicos. Everybody played there, yeah. Arturo Montes, que en paz descanse. Selena even performed there. Daba chavala Selena, man. It was an amazing time for me growing up, uh, working there at that club and getting to really, really recognize and know the uh, music. Had a good hangout, eh? Yeah. It was. And it prepared me for my radio career, actually, so... But guys, I really appreciate you all coming, man. And uh, pleasure, man. aquí pleasure. estamos a lo que se te ofrezca. Gracias. Este, y ya sabes, Jimmy, lo que necesitas aquí estamos, carnal. We're going to do it. We're going to do a romance tour real soon. Well, well see, un show de perdido, sí, algo, lo que sea. Yeah. We're going to do it. Rentamos salón, vendemos boletos y vendemos VIP tables y la chingada. We'll Toda la feria it. va yeah. para el romance, carnal. Yeah. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Y aquí irá. And we'll go buy another bus, right, Miro? That's right. Oh, my goodness. Aquí el ad, con, con llantas. Con this, one, this one will have tires. Aquí el advertisement, carnal, ni te mortifiques aquí, pucho el pedo, yo. You got it right. Se dan cuenta, si van a ir a tocar allá en otra parte de Texas, allá le dijimos, le avisamos a toda la india de acá, carnal. Ya está. Thank you. Para que se llene, ¿verdad, Dan? Hoy no más. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to join our members only club, okay? We're going to have special content that only members can see special in-depth one-on-one interviews i'm already booking some amazing guests and we're going to talk seriously you know we have a lot of fun when we do this live show and we play music we say jokes we talk about stories we do all kinds of stuff it's a group thing but with this new deal that i'm doing it's one-on-one and uh mario marichalar is already and i also did an interview with a promoter that's been promoting since 1975 the stories he's got are incredible uh tomorrow i've got two interviews lined up and then i i spoke with jesse turner he wants to get on he's got something really really interesting to talk about ladies and gentlemen uh you know so it's going to be in depth and it's going to be fantastic and it's going to be exclusive for members only so hit the 9.99 join button and join us and be our monthly subscriber plus we're going to be giving away perks uh, like uh you know koozies and t-shirts we're going to get some swag so every two weeks we're going to pick a winner from the members club and we're going to send you a nice little package of some cool stuff and some autograph stuff and all that but ladies and gentlemen make sure to uh support romance online as well follow them on social are y'all on social media yes sir Orale. And then also stream their music. Go to, you know, YouTube and stream their music. Put it on your playlist, Spotify. It's all over. It's on digital. Uh, people have uploaded it and it's up. So make sure to do that, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, next week, we've got Zeddy, the singer de los Cumbia All Stars. Couldn't get AB in here, but I've got Zeddy coming in. And he's an amazing talent as well an amazing singer and we'll be talking to him and then we've got something very special for april 16th which is on a tuesday it's selena's birthday wait till you see what we got going on it's going to be awesome and fantastic thank you so much pasen buenas noches y muchas gracias por el apoyo de todos ustedes de costa a costa frontera a frontera thank you so much pasen buenas noches Orale. everybody wave at the uh hello vamos